This morning, new revelations about Harry and Meghan's decision to step back as senior members of the royal family. They are together right now, um, mourning the loss of the queen and and showing solidarity with the new king. Talk to me what you see when you look at this image of the four of them. Well, it's been 70 years since Elizabeth II became queen. She's the first British monarch to celebrate a platinum jubilee. The British royal family, a symbol of tradition, stability, and national pride, has always been in the public eye. While the monarchy is known for maintaining a stiff upper lip and keeping personal matters private, recent developments have pulled back the curtain on the complex relationships and power struggles within the palace. The latest chapter of royal intrigue revolves around Queen Camilla, whose surprising and decisive response to Prince William's actions has sent shockwaves through the monarchy. At the heart of this drama is a growing tension between Queen Camilla, King Charles, and Prince William, three pivotal figures who hold the future of the monarchy in their hands. What led to this tension? And what does Queen Camilla's bold move mean for the future of the royal family? Let's explore the intricate web of royal relationships, past controversies, and the ripple effects of a decision that could alter the course of the monarchy, the hidden dynamics of royal power. For centuries, the British monarchy has projected an image of unity, strength, and unwavering dedication to service. However, beneath the polished exterior, personal relationships and power dynamics have always played a crucial role in shaping the direction of the monarchy. The royal family is, after all, not just a public institution, but a close-knit family bound by both tradition and complex emotional ties. The relationship between King Charles and Queen Camilla has long been a subject of public fascination. Their love story, which began decades ago, has endured despite many obstacles, including intense media scrutiny and public disapproval. However, while their bond is strong, the recent tensions within the family, especially with Prince William, have highlighted how the monarchy is not immune to personal conflicts. In recent years, Queen Camilla has taken on a more prominent role within the family, particularly as King Charles has faced health challenges. Despite initial resistance from some quarters, including from within the royal family, Camilla has earned respect for her steadfast support of King Charles and her dedication to royal duties. Yet her relationship with Prince William has always been marked by a delicate balance between respect and unresolved tension. Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles' marriage has been anything but smooth sailing, and some of their troubles are reportedly due to Camilla's strained relationship with Charles' sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. The strained relationship between William and Camilla. At the center of the current royal drama is the complicated relationship between Prince William and Queen Camilla. From the moment Camilla entered the royal fold, William and his younger brother, Prince Harry, struggled with their father's decision to marry her after the death of their mother, Princess Diana. Diana's tragic passing left an indelible mark on both brothers, and for years, their feelings towards Camilla were shaped by their loyalty to their mother's memory. Princess Diana's highly publicized marriage to Charles and the subsequent revelations about his affair with Camilla cast a long shadow over the royal family. In her famous 1995 interview, Diana openly described Camilla as the third person in her marriage to Charles. This public acknowledgement of infidelity shocked the world and deepened the already strained relationship between the future queen consort and Diana's sons. For Prince William, this history made it difficult to fully accept Camilla as part of the family. Though he has outwardly maintained a respectful relationship with her, insiders have long noted that William's feelings toward Camilla are complicated. Some sources suggest that William tolerates Camilla, recognizing her importance to his father, but remains emotionally distant from her. While time has softened some of the tension, the lingering feelings of distrust have not entirely disappeared. Queen Camilla, for her part, has worked hard to integrate herself into the royal family, but there are reports that she too feels a certain unease around William, given his closeness to his late mother's memory and his protective nature over the future of the monarchy. William's ascending role in the monarchy. As the future King of England, Prince William has always been groomed for leadership. Over the past few years, his responsibilities within the royal family have increased significantly. With King Charles's health issues becoming more pronounced, William has taken on a more prominent role in managing royal affairs. Alongside his wife, 
Catherine, the Princess of Wales. William's ascent has been marked by a deep sense of duty to the crown and the British people. However, this rise in responsibility has also brought him into conflict with other senior royals, including Queen Camilla. While William's primary concern has always been the future stability of the monarchy, his decisions have sometimes clashed with those of his stepmother. One of the key sources of tension between William and Camilla has been his decision to remove her sister, Annabel Elliot, from the Duchy of Cornwall payroll. Annabel, a talented interior designer, had been involved in several royal projects, including the renovation of royal estates. Her removal was seen by some as a practical decision, aimed at streamlining royal operations and ensuring transparency. However, for Queen Camilla, this move struck a personal chord. This is an intimate look behind the scenes of that historic day, courtesy of Princess Kate's home movies. The Duchy of Cornwall controversy. The Duchy of Cornwall, a private estate established in 1337, is traditionally passed down to the heir to the throne. For many years, Prince Charles oversaw the management of the duchy, using its income to fund his charitable initiatives and support his public work. When Charles became king, the duchy passed to Prince William, who has since taken a hands-on approach to its management. Under William's leadership, the duchy has undergone several changes. His decision to remove Annabel Elliot from her role was seen by some as part of a broader effort to modernize and professionalize the estate's operations. However, the move caused significant tension within the family, particularly between William and Camilla. Annabel's departure from the payroll was not just a professional decision, it was a personal one, and it hit close to home for Queen Camilla. For Camilla, Annabel's role within the duchy was not just about work, it was about family. The two sisters have always been close, and Annabel's presence in royal circles provided Camilla with a sense of familiarity and support. William's decision to remove Annabel from the payroll was seen by some royal insiders as a symbolic gesture, one that highlighted the growing distance between William and Camilla. Camilla's response, a bold step back. In response to Prince William's decision, Queen Camilla took a bold and unexpected step. She temporarily stepped back from her royal duties. For a woman who has spent decades supporting her husband and dutifully carrying out her public responsibilities, this move was surprising. However, it was also seen by some as a strategic retreat. Camilla's decision to step back was not just about taking time for herself. It was a calculated move. By stepping away from the public eye, she may have been signaling her discontent with recent developments within the family. At the same time, her decision allowed her to regain a sense of control over her role within the monarchy. Stepping back from royal duties is not unprecedented within the royal family. Over the years, several members of the family have taken breaks from public life, whether due to personal reasons or in response to family disputes. However, Camilla's decision is particularly notable given the current state of the monarchy. With King Charles's health in question and Prince William stepping into a more assertive role, Camilla's retreat adds another layer of complexity to the family dynamic, the impact on King Charles. Amid the growing tensions within the family, King Charles finds himself in a difficult position. As monarch, he is responsible for maintaining the unity and stability of the royal family. However, his health struggles have left him increasingly reliant on other senior royals to carry out public duties. So a big day of pomp and policy is underway back in my home country of Britain. This is where King Charles III delivered a speech at the official opening of the new session of Parliament. Charles's relationship with Camilla has been one of the defining elements of his reign. Despite Despite the controversy surrounding their marriage, Camilla has been a steadfast partner to Charles, supporting him both publicly and privately. In recent years, as Charles has faced health challenges, Camilla has taken on a more prominent role within the monarchy, earning praise for her dedication and leadership. However, Camilla's decision to step back from her duties has placed additional pressure on King Charles. With his health issues becoming more pronounced, Charles is increasingly dependent on other members of the family to take on royal responsibilities. While Prince William and Catherine have stepped up to fill the void, the absence of Queen Camilla has created a noticeable gap. Some royal insiders have suggested that Charles is privately conflicted about the recent developments within the family. On one hand, he understands the need for William to take on more responsibility as the future king. On the other hand, he is deeply loyal to Camilla and recognizes the personal toll that recent events have taken on her. The public's reaction to Camilla's retreat, Queen Camilla's decision to take a step back from her royal duties, has not only affected the internal dynamics of the family, but has also sparked widespread public reaction. The British public, always keen observers of royal life, has responded with a mix of surprise, concern, and speculation. For some, 
Camilla's retreat is seen as a sign of strength, an indication that she is unwilling to be sidelined or undermined within the family. Her decision to take a temporary break from public life has been framed by some media outlets as a calculated move to protect her mental health and well-being, while also reasserting her importance within the monarchy. However, others have interpreted Camilla's decision as a retreat in the face of growing challenges. With King Charles's health in question and Prince William stepping into a more prominent role, some commentators have speculated that Camilla's move may be an acknowledgement that her influence within the family is waning. The British press has long been divided in its coverage of Queen Camilla. While she has earned praise for her work on various charitable initiatives, she has also been the target of criticism, particularly from those who remain loyal to Princess Diana's memory. Camilla's retreat from public life has reignited some of these old debates, with critics questioning her. Commitment to the monarchy and her role as Queen Consort. The future of the monarchy. What lies ahead? As the royal family navigates this latest chapter of internal conflict, the future of the monarchy hangs in the balance. With King Charles's health increasingly fragile and Prince William taking on a more central role, the next few years will be crucial in determining the direction of the monarchy. Prince William's leadership style is notably different from that of his father. While Charles has always been more of a traditionalist, William is seen as more modern and pragmatic. His decision to remove Annabel Elliot from the Duchy of Cornwall payroll is just one example of the changes he is implementing as he prepares to take on more responsibility. However, these changes have not come without a cost. The growing tension between William and Queen Camilla highlights the personal challenges that often accompany leadership transitions within the royal family. For William, the challenge will be balancing his vision for the future of the monarchy with the need to maintain family unity. As for Queen Camilla, her decision to step back from public life raises questions about her future role within the monarchy. Will she return to her duties with renewed energy, or will her retreat become more permanent? And how will her relationship with Prince William evolve in the coming months and years? The end of the British summer has seen a return of official duties by the working royals. But with King Charles and the Princess of Wales undergoing treatment for cancer, it's Queen Camilla and Prince William carrying out the majority of public appearances. King Charles's role amid family turmoil. While much of the spotlight has been on Prince William and Queen Camilla, King Charles has remained somewhat in the background, navigating both his health challenges and the increasingly complex family dynamics. As the monarch, Charles is responsible for more than just the ceremonial aspects of his position. He is also the key figure in maintaining harmony within the royal family. But this is no easy task, particularly when tensions between William and Camilla have become so publicly apparent. King Charles is known for his lifelong dedication to the monarchy, environmental causes, and philanthropy, but he has also faced his share of public scrutiny, especially when it comes to his personal life. His controversial relationship with Camilla, once met with public disapproval, is now being viewed in a new light as the two navigate royal duties together. Nevertheless, the strain on their marriage, particularly due to William's actions and the removal of Annabel Elliot, has been difficult for Charles to ignore. As a father, Charles has always cared deeply about William and Harry, but like many fathers, he has found himself caught in the middle of a family conflict. His loyalty to Camilla and his desire to maintain a strong, stable monarchy may not always align with William's vision for the future. As he steps back from some of his duties due to health concerns, Charles may find it increasingly challenging to mediate the issues between his son and his wife. However, some royal insiders have suggested that Charles's strategy in recent months has been one of quiet diplomacy. By allowing William to take more control of the Duchy of Cornwall and other royal responsibilities, Charles may be signaling his faith in his son's ability to lead while also offering Camilla the space to decide her role within the family. Ultimately, Charles's leadership is essential in determining whether the monarchy can weather this storm of internal strife. Public Perception of the Monarchy As the British public continues to watch these developments unfold, opinions about the royal family are as divided as ever. The monarchy has long been an institution that captures both reverence and criticism. With Queen Elizabeth II's passing, there was a period of reflection on the role of the monarchy in modern Britain, and now with King Charles, the conversation has shifted again. Public reaction to Queen Camilla's decision to step back from her royal duties has been mixed. Many people view Camilla with empathy, acknowledging the difficulties she has faced since marrying into the royal family. Having initially been an unpopular figure, Camilla 
Jamila has earned respect from a portion of the public, particularly for her work on issues such as domestic violence and literacy, but not everyone is convinced. Critics see Camilla's retreat as a sign that she may not be fully committed to her role as queen consort. For those who still revere Princess Diana, the tensions between William and Camilla only serve as a reminder of the past, where Diana was seen as a victim of royal dynamics that favored tradition over individual happiness. On the other hand, Prince William's popularity continues to soar. As the future king, he is widely regarded as a modernizing force within the monarchy. Alongside his wife, Catherine, William has cultivated an image of stability, approachability, and dedication to royal duties. Many see him as the embodiment of the future of the monarchy, and his increasing responsibility only serves to strengthen his position in the eyes of the public. However, this rising prominence does not come without its challenges. As William takes on more duties, he must balance his leadership of the monarchy with the personal dynamics of his family. His relationship with Camilla remains a delicate subject, and the public is watching closely to see how he navigates this tricky terrain. For now, the monarchy's future hinges not just on William's ability to lead, but on whether he can maintain harmony within the family. Just got a big update from Britain's royal family. The Princess of Wales released this video behind me. Kate Middleton is opening up about her recent cancer diagnosis, saying she has completed chemotherapy. What's next? for the royal family. The future of the British monarchy is at a pivotal moment. King Charles, now facing significant health challenges, is slowly transitioning more responsibilities to Prince William. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla's retreat from public life raises questions about her long-term role. As the royal family moves forward, it is clear that a period of change and adaptation lies ahead. In the coming months, all eyes will be on Prince William as he continues to assert his influence over the future of the monarchy. His decisions, from modernizing the Duchy of Cornwall to navigating the delicate relationship with Queen Camilla, will shape not only his reign, but also the institution itself. If William can successfully balance his desire for reform with the need to respect the traditions of the monarchy, he may well be the leader who ushers in a new era for the royal family. For Queen Camilla, the question remains, will she return to her duties with renewed focus, or will her retreat signal a shift in the balance of power within the royal family? While Camilla has undoubtedly faced many challenges throughout her time as queen consort, she has also shown resilience and dedication. Whether she will reassert herself as a central figure within the monarchy or take a step back permanently will likely depend on her relationship with both Charles and William. And then there is King Charles, the monarch at the center of this evolving drama. His health and his ability to lead in the coming years will be key factors in determining the monarchy's path forward. While Charles may be easing into a more symbolic role, his influence as both a father and a king will continue to play a significant part in the family's internal dynamics. The British royal family is no stranger to controversy and internal strife, but the current tensions between Queen Camilla, King Charles, and Prince William represent a particularly significant moment in the history of the monarchy. Monarchy. As the family grapples with issues of succession, personal loyalty, and the future direction of the crown, the decisions made in the coming months will shape the future of the British monarchy for generations to come. Queen Camilla's retreat from public life and Prince William's increasing responsibilities signal a shift in the balance of power within the family. As William steps into a more prominent role, the question remains whether he and Camilla can find a way to work together for the greater good of the monarchy. At the same time, King Charles' leadership will be essential in maintaining unity within the family, especially as his health continues to be a factor. In the end, the royal family's ability to navigate these challenges will determine whether the institution remains relevant and revered in the eyes of the British public. With the monarchy at a crossroads, all eyes will be on William, Charles, and Camilla as they seek to reconcile their differences and chart a course for the future. Chart a course for the future. Chart a course for the future.